Hello, this is my setup for tonight, which I'm going to use to shoot the Fishhead Nebula. Uh, but I thought I'd take an opportunity to show you all how to connect the ASI Air to an Orion Atlas Pro AZ-EQG go-to mount. First, we'll start with the power connection. The power connection to the ASI Air connects to either a 5-volt, you can either connect it to a 5-volt um, auxiliary cell phone charging battery or you can use the 12 volt adapter that came with the ASI Air and then you connect that to 12 volts either your battery or a power supply however you want to do it I have it connected to a Pegasus power box which gives me four 12 volt outputs and powers my dew heaters um, and there's some other software benefits that but that powers the ASI air and then from there uh, because of the way I have my guide scope and main camera mounted um, I can't use the auxiliary uh, um, ports on the back of the camera so I connect both the guide camera and the main camera to the USB hub on the ASI air and here's the guide camera and here's the main camera. Now the mount connection for the Orion mount is, uh, is connected through the SynScan hand controller. And on the hand controller you use the firmware flashing cable, the firmware serial cable that comes with the SynScan and it connects into the smaller of the two ports and then that cable connects to the USB cable that comes with the ASI Air and then I connect that into the USB hub it's connected in the back here a third port and then I use the SynScan mount options in both the ASI Air app and Sky Safari. And that's how you connect it. If you so choose and wanted to use the ST4 connection, then you would connect your guide camera to the auto guide port on the Orion mount. And in the app, you would choose on-camera ST4 as the mount option for your guide camera. That's all, I hope that's helpful. And if you have any questions, shoot me a message and I'll try to answer them. Thank you.